Ah, uh, ah, uh, no. I've been watching too much Attack on Titan. Hello, and welcome to JT Guitar. Today, I thought I'd give my opinion on a slightly tricky question, which is, how many guitars do you need? The answer is one. You only need a Fender Telecaster. Obviously, I, I'm sort of joking, but I'm sort of serious, serious as well. The, the Telecaster is like a pretty damn good all-rounder. You really can play anything on a Telecaster. And if you think it's too twangy, just roll the tone knob back. That's all you need. But that's not really, that's like a joke answer. I'm not really saying that everyone should have a Telecaster. And um, although I do believe that. But what I'm really getting to the point of, what I'm really, the point I'm trying to make is, having lots of guitars isn't all it's cracked up to be. Obviously, everything I say is just my opinion. Nothing I say is gonna be right or wrong. I, know, I guess it could be right or wrong, but it is just my opinion, so please don't take offense. Everyone's different and I'm, I'm not here to judge. I'm just here to say, what my, in my experience, this is my opinion. The theme of this video really is, it's not aimed at people who've got lots of money and can afford as many guitars as they like. It's, uh, this video is aimed at average Joe, like myself, who buying any guitar at any cost, you know, even if it's a hundred pound to a 500 pound guitar, it's a, it's a, you know, it's a large sum to us. And there, there is this kind of pressure to have lots of guitars. But I'm telling you, if you cave into that pressure like I did, and it's a pressure you put on yourself and it's a pressure you kind of feel from other people that isn't really even there. No one cares how many guitars you've got. It's, it's daft. But, it, if you, it does become a burden. It becomes a pain to look after them all and then you feel guilty for not looking after them. My advice would be just to not have more guitars than you can afford to look after, both time-wise and money-wise. Now, up until recently, I had 18 guitars and what, ha what ended up happening is I had I'd be teaching guitar and I, back before lockdown, I was on around 80 students a week and, or at least 65 that I'm teaching. And what I do is, you know, occasionally a string would break or a pot would come loose or a pickup would stop working, you know, where connections come out. And what I do is I got in the habit of, I'd put that guitar, the broken guitar down and I just pick another one out of the case. And then after doing that for like a couple of years, eventually what I had was 18 guitars that were all broken or all needed repairing, all needed restringing and setting up all at the same time. And it ended up taking a lot of time and a lot of money to fix them all. Whereas if I just had two, I could have just, I would well, have had to have fixed the other one straight away and then used the other. And um, you know, it feels like a bit of a waste because really what I ended up doing was repairing 18 guitars and then obviously I can only use one at a time. And so I repaired them and then they went back in the box or back on the shelf, back on the wall. And, um, and then when I moved to this premises, I recently, a lot of you may not know this, but I recently moved to a new premises for my I own a music school. And when I moved premises, I'll put up a photo here if I can find it. I realized what a burden it was having so much gear. Moving was torture, it was horrible carrying all that stuff. And, um, I felt, I felt guilty also. I felt guilty about having so many guitars because I didn't need them. I didn't need that many. I didn't play them all. And someone else could be benefiting from them. So what I ended up doing is I sold eight guitars, but I've since bought one. So I currently have 11, but that is more than I want. It's just some of them I'm, I'm too emotionally attached to. I can't get rid of them. And that sounds pretty extreme, but like literally one of them was given to me by a student who died. You know, I'm never gonna sell that guitar, I'll have that forever. Uh, one of them is my 21st birthday present. I'm, you know, I'm never gonna sell or get rid of that guitar. So a lot of these guitars are just too sentimental to get rid of. But in an ideal world, I would love to have maybe two electrics and one acoustic, and that'd do me just fine. And my recommendation would be to people Maybe if, if you don't, if you can see yourself getting into my situation where you end up being overly attached and burdened with too many guitars, just, you know, aim to have two at a time. Two or maybe two electrics and an acoustic and a bass. So now we're creeping up again. We're creeping up to four because I do need a bass. I teach bass and guitar. I teach acoustic 
and I teach electric guitar. And annoyingly, uh, I'm going to have to buy two more guitars because the, I've got a six string bass, which is very confusing for my students, so I can't really teach with it. And then the four string bass, I'm, I'm actually borrowing my brother's at the moment because he went to uni and left his nice Fender P bass with me, so where it was safe here in the shop. But now I need to give it back to him and I need to get myself a new decent quality bass. So I'm gonna end up, well, I guess I'll still have 11 because I'll be giving his back. But the point is I don't really want to be buying so many guitars. Now, one, one of the big issues for me was having 18 guitars and knowing that, for example, some of my students could benefit more from those guitars than I would just having them sat in a cupboard. One of those guitars is actually my most popular video, I think, which is the Sterling Sub Silo 3 that someone asked me about recently. Now, that's a brilliant guitar. It's a brilliant like starter, beginner, or intermediate guitar. And it was just, eventually, it was just gathering dust because I had so many other guitars that I was using. And here was a kid who could have used the guitar and I, I sold it, obviously, I'm, I'm quite a large loss, but I think in a way we've got, as like a guitarist and certainly as more experienced guitarists like myself, I think we almost owe a kind of a duty to beginner or starting out guitarists to sell on some equipment at a loss and just because that's what we needed when we were starting out. So I, I was really happy to sell that guitar very cheaply to a student who is brilliant and is excelling now that they've got that guitar as well. It's really helped them play. And um, I did, I, I sold another seven guitars to people who needed them more than I did, and I sold them all at a loss. And that's fine. I think that's, if anything, it's sort of the right thing to do. It's helpful. Another problem with having too many guitars is it's very tempting when you first start up to buy lots of guitars, especially being as you can buy secondhand guitars quite cheap. But often you can buy a second hand cheap and unless you know an awful lot about guitars, you don't necessarily know what you're getting or what the problems are or what it's gonna cost you in the long run. My, my advice would be for people to buy one good quality versatile guitar that they go and try in a shop and they, they really like and play that for years because it's gonna take you years to develop your own taste and your own style and to, to really know what you want. I definitely had like goals when I was a teenager and starting out. I, I really wanted a Gibson Les Paul. I eventually got one and I love it as an object, but I don't, I don't play it as much as I play. Well, for example, I, you know, if I, if I really loved it completely, I never would have had this thing made and this is now my pride and joy. But, um, and I also, I never wanted a Telecaster. And now I'm a firm believer that the Telecaster is the only guitar that anyone needs. So your tastes develop and change and, and you know, until you really know for sure what you like, the sound of and what you like the feel of, it can be a waste of money buying stuff on a, on a whim or on a hope or because people you like play them. You know, my favorite guitarists are Strat and Les Paul players. And I've bought, I've bought and sold three Stratocasters which is really odd because I love the sound of the Strat, but I like other people playing Strats and I don't like the sound of me playing a Strat, which is really strange. It's really weird. You wouldn't have thought it works like that, but you can love the sound of a guitar and someone else playing it, but not personally like playing it yourself. So that's another really weird thing. So I'd just say, hold off, you know, get to know the instrument for years before you start buying lots of things to try and and become the player you want to be and save up in that time, just save, save, save like crazy so that when you do know what you want and you can buy your dream guitar, you've got the money for it. I, I'm, I'm a real believer in uh, quality over quantity when it comes to guitars. And I'm a hypocrite because I've got quite a lot of guitars that are quite cheap. Um, I have fewer now, I did sell a lot of them off, but I'd much rather have five very good quality instruments than 20 so-so instruments. Now, what I'm not saying is that you actually shouldn't have lots of guitars because that also, that also depends on your profession. Like I teach guitar for a living and I, I teach people who play in all sorts of different styles. Now I could probably cover all, most of those styles on a Telecaster, but 
every guitar has its limitations and with a Telecaster, with like it's, this one in particular has is a 50s reissue and it's got a very curved fretboard. I think it's got like a seven and a half inch fretboard radius. Now if you're doing, and it's only got 21 frets, that's the other thing. So if I'm doing teaching someone who wants to learn seven string metal with 24 frets, I literally can't do it on this guitar. So there, you know, thus you can justify getting something like this six string fan fret I've got with the 24 frets. But um, it's not for everyone. And it is, you know, it's a waste of money if you don't need it. But if you know, if you've got the money, just, then it doesn't matter, does it? If, if money is no object, then yeah, have as many guitars as you want. But what I don't want people to do is make the same mistakes I've made in the past, which is I've often prioritized guitar equipment over my my own sort of personal well-being. You know, I've been like, been denied going on holidays with friends and stuff because I, and I didn't have the money to go, but it's probably because I just bought a guitar that I didn't really even need. And I kind of, there's another danger, which is buying guitars just to try out, which is I've definitely done a bought guitar thinking I'd like it, don't really like it, stuck with it for years, sold it at a loss, at a loss rather, which is a total waste of time and money. I'm sorry it wasn't like a set number. I guess the closest thing I can give you to a set number is have your main guitar, have a backup guitar, then maybe have an acoustic and a bass. But it takes a long time to work out what those things are you want in a main guitar. But a Telecaster is a safe bet. Or just have two Telecasters. Honestly, you can play anything on a Telecaster. I prefer my Stonewolf guitar, but that's like I said in another video, ah, 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 no. This is such a mess. I would far sooner have two of these than any other number of guitars. I can't afford two of these, but this is a custom built guitar, even designed to fit the size of my hand. You know, I went to the workshop, wrapped my hand around the neck as it was being carved, and I was like, yep, 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 this is, this is perfect. Well, actually, you know, eventually it was perfect after a few time shaving it back but um yeah so i'd say get yourself a good guitar and just stick with it until you can afford your dream guitar and also stick with it until you know what your dream guitar is well those are my thoughts and feelings on how many guitars one should have or one could have or but depending on your situation uh, i'm sorry this is just a bit of a rumbling one or rambling rumbling I've been watching too much Attack on Titan. I'd love to know what your opinions are on how many guitars you should have. Let, uh, let's talk about it in the comments below. And thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you'd like to see more of these kind of things. I've been JT and I'll see you next time. Take care.